Hi everyone, it's Camille, your realtor friend based right here in Charlotte, North Carolina, proudly serving Gaston County and Belmont. In today's video, I will be taking you guys along with me on an exclusive tour of Smith Farm. This community is built by Dan Ryan Home Builders and it is a mix of townhomes and single family homes. We will take a walk around the neighborhood so you can get a gist of what it's like living in this neighborhood and later on we will be touring the model home that is available for us to see. So I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I will be previewing all things Belmont, North Carolina in the greater Charlotte area. So today I am taking you guys along with me at this new construction community that is nestled in the middle of Belmont close to all of the neighborhood amenities. This community is the Smith Farm community built by Dan Ryan Home Builders. And there's actually a high school right across the street and a middle school a little further down. You also will have your regular conveniences of Harris Teeter, pizza spots, Chick-fil-A, gas, and so much more in close vicinity. So let's go take a walk through the neighborhood. As you can see, a lot of the townhomes in this area are still underway still under construction as well as the single family homes there will be a mix of both so if you're looking for low maintenance maybe a town home may be the one for you if you are shopping within a lower price bracket versus the single family homes all of the town homes come with garages the one thing to note about this community is that essentially these homes that are being built on this street essentially have no backyard space so it would not be anything private. So on the other side of the community, there is actually single family homes that are being built on one side of the road and it sort of extends around the curve. And then on the inner loop, I guess you can say of the community is the townhomes. I will place a visual map of the community in terms of the townhomes and single family homes that you can expect. Currently, the townhomes are priced at $352,000 and up, and the single family home starts at $432,000 and up. So come along with me as we tour the Drayton floor plan. As soon as you come inside, you will have a optional study room. The study room can also be an optional living room, which is really nice. Loving those French doors and great lighting. You have your half bath located downstairs for your guest. A hallway closet. in your formal dining room which could comfortably fit a six foot to eight foot dining table for those of you who have large gatherings moving right along into the kitchen area you do have a built-in microwave and oven gas stove stainless steel appliances and a pretty decent sized island to prepare and prep. You'll also have a pretty great sized pantry Love, love, love the backsplash on this home. Outside of this window, you do have a covered screened porch area. And an extended 
breakfast area that they actually converted to sitting. These are optional add-ons. It is not a part of the traditional floor plan. You do also have an additional breakfast area and we said sliding throughout the home. More storage, which is always really, really nice. That door would technically be leading to a two bay garage currently the garage is being used for the sales reps that sits within the community. Coming up the stairs, you will have an open loft area, which is really nice again, just to be able to spread out in the house. And look at this amazing owner suite. Like, are you serious? I always love when there's additional space within this owner suite. Me personally, I would make that the girls room, the girls corner with all of my makeup and just an area to just get ready. This bathroom is also very amazing. The sit-in for the shower is always great to have. And then you have a double vanity sink and my, 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 this closet is literally almost as big as the room itself, which is really nice. And then there is this additional powder room in the owner suite as well. I just love this room so much. There was also a thermostat in the owner suite on the wall. Not sure if you noticed, the bedrooms are fairly large size as well. This room is so long. And this walk-in closet, for it to be a secondary bedroom is just huge. I'm loving the space in this home. There's an additional laundry room and my favorite part about this is the sink. To have that additional convenience of washing out the clothes or getting out stains and just the additional sink is just so nice. This is gonna be the secondary bathroom with another double vanity sink. You have built-in shelves for the shower area, which is also a really nice touch. And moving along right into this third bedroom. It's a bit smaller than the previous bedroom that I just showed you guys. It does have one window and again, pretty good closet space. In all, I definitely would give this home a 10 out of 10. Honestly, if I were to move in this home, there's not really a thing I would change. I love the home as it is. You can also see that there is some speakers that were installed within the ceilings of this home, which would be nice for surround sound. Well, my friends, what did you guys think about the house? Me personally, I loved that owner suite, like the additional space within the room and then the massive bathroom and that massive walk-in closet was just chef kiss. <laughs> it was definitely my favorite part of the house and that additional uh, flex space off from the living room where you can use it as a sunroom, a reading room, just relaxation, maybe even an office. I really love that as well. It was super, super spacious. If you are interested in moving into this community, currently they are offering some amazing incentives for assistance towards your closing costs if you use their preferred lenders. There will be roughly 75 homes total between townhomes and single family homes in this community. Much more development is underway. 
Also, before I leave you guys, there is a shopping center about five minutes down the road. It has a grocery store, eateries, gas, and Historic Belmont is only 10 minutes away from the community, so it's a super short drive. Again, if you are interested in moving to Belmont and interested in looking at new construction properties, please don't hesitate to contact me. Smith Farm is a great option, but there's also more, which I will be doing videos on a little bit later so definitely click that subscribe button if you haven't already to be updated with all things Belmont North Carolina. I'll also be rolling out a video soon of the historical downtown area of Belmont so definitely keep your eyes out for that. That is all that I have for you in today's video. I do not want to bore you with additional information that you don't find necessary. If you're looking to make the move to Belmont North Carolina definitely hit me up. I can be reached at 704-741-6618. You can call or text. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Make it a great day.